Welcome back to NC State Dendrology. I am coming to you from the Blue Ridge Parkway. You may hear some parkway noise. I'm um, just below Mount Mitchell on 128. Um, I'm actually on the parkway itself, but the turnoff for 128 is soon. And the plant I wanted to, I pulled off to show you is um, this beautiful mountain ash. Um, this time of year, it is absolutely spectacular here in the mountains at the higher elevations. This is Sorbus Americana, and it's in the Rosaceae, which is a little bit um, maybe of a surprise. It doesn't look like a lot of our other Rosaceae species, but um, just to identify it, um, if you don't have the fruits this time of year um, and you're looking at it, it does have these really beautiful alternate compound leaves and um, they have a serrate, there's many leaflets per leaf. They have a terminal leaf as well. And they have um, fine serrations on the edges of the leaflets. They also have a very distinctive, um, try and get the camera in, very distinctive um, bud that is kind of bright red. Maybe this one's better, easier to see. Um, a bright red bud. And so these twigs are actually rather distinctive in the winter time. Um, this is a species that's found mostly above 5,000 feet um, in the edge of spruce fir forest and also spruce yellow birch uh, forest getting into those upper elevation northern hardwood forests. And just uh, if I pan out just a little bit, this is just a spectacular small tree and shrub. Um, another thing with the leaves is the rachis, the rachises. Um, tend to be bright red, so it is not an ash. Um, it just, I think it's reminiscent of one, and so it is called mountain ash, but it's actually in the Rosaceae Sorbus Americana. And um, just needed to show this to y'all since I am up in the mountains in October, and this is just spectacular along the parkway. So um, again, Sorbus Americana, mountain ash, Found at upper elevations on edges of spruce fir forests, as well as upper northern hardwood forests. And thanks for tuning in. This is NC State Dendrology.